the circle. Why? Because of the direction is unknown. Direction is unknown. The direction of V is unknown. Because of that, at the end point of this U, the end point as a center, V as a radius, we have to draw a circle. Okay? So where is the direction of this? It can be here or here or here. Anywhere. Anywhere. It can be anywhere. So how to decide? So then we have to look at this. Some students without drawing circle, they can uh, fulfill the triangle. That is also acceptable. But why we draw circle? Because we have we have a plan. If this is type 2 question. In this type 2 question, we have a plan, right? If we draw the circle, we have to take three or four steps. At the end, the answer will come. That is our plan. Okay? So if you don't draw the circle, then then we can't overgo the plan plan. Right? So that is up to you. Right? So if you draw the circle, now the final one here, this is 30 degree with the horizontal. This is 60. This is 60. This is also 60. This is right. Any problem? So the the board should move from A to B, then B to C. So this is the first one. So I'm, I'm going for the first triangle, first velocity triangle when the uh, ship moves or the board moves from A to B, right? So then I'm not going to do, uh, draw here because you know that many students make common error. The common error is they will draw this one from here. So why have you uh, drawn this circle? Pointless, no? So don't draw it here, draw it from here. Okay, so the result that we are going to draw, which is like this, double arrow. So with the vertical, it is, it is with vertical 60, but horizontal 30. So now we are going to connect this. So I am going to put the U down, then connecting this. So this is going to be direction of V. Understood? This is the velocity triangle of the board when the board starts from the A and goes to B. Is it clear? After that, what happens? From B, it goes to C. So, we have to draw the another velocity triangle for that. But, fortunately, we have all the setup again B and U. Same as it. As it. Yes or no? Then you don't need to draw another circle in another paper like this. You can use the same diagram. Yes or no? How? Again B. Again U. V. So now the direction is from here to here. So this from here to here. So what I'm going to do is uh, I do like this. Normally if you can connect here, sometimes the resultant may be perpendicular to this one. We don't know which is. So I'm doing this something like here. Double F. And now, now I connect this. So this is V. This is, this is also V. So I put here V. This is with horizontal 30 degree, right? This is horizontal 30, vertical 60. Are you okay with this? So try to draw the triangle first. That's it. So drawing triangle is doesn't, it's not a matter, right? After drawing the tri triangle, say this is O, I say this is L, this is I say N1, this is I say N2, okay? After drawing the triangle, what you have to do? What we have to do? I gave the notes. After drawing the tri triangle, what we have to do? So, after drawing the circle, right? What we have to do? We have to draw the perpendicular line from the center. From the center. Where is the center? Here is the center. So where I have to, to which uh, line I have to draw the perpendicular distance? Or the altitude? This right? No, it goes through the center. This line? No, can't. This line? No. Then this line and this line. There are two. This line and this line. So first of all I take this line. So to this line, can it draw the uh, altitude from O? Yes, but we have to extend this. Yeah. Dot, 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 dot. That is the only thing we have to do. 
extend this. Now you can draw the perpendicular line. Right? So like 2001 on past day. You have to extend the line. So don't think that always line will be there and you can draw the altitude. Not like that. Sometimes you have to extend. For this line you can draw no problem. But this line you have to extend. So in that case, what is the second one we have to do? After drawing the altitude, you will find the angle and you have to make the sine and cos. What is the angle? Here 30, here 30. Can you see that 30 degrees? If it is 30, this is also 30. If both are 30, then you know this u, then this is going to be u sine 30, I put u by u. Then what about this? U cos 30, that is root 3 u by 2. That's it. That's it. Definitely you will find something like that. Okay? After that, after that, what is the third step that we have to do? Then you will find another triangle where you can apply by the steer. Mr. By the steer. Where you can find another triangle. This length node, this length node, this triangle. This is the unknown one. This is W1 we are going to find. This is our target is to find this. You know, any uh, relative velocity question, we have only two unknowns. So they ask only that. So what is that? Here, this W and the direction of this. Magnitude of this and direction of this. That's it. But normally they don't ask the direction of this. Rarely they ask. But magnitude of this one must because then only you can find the type right so how to find the w let's say i put this is n1 n2 i put this is n3 okay in the triangle can you see the triangle o n3 n2 o n3 n2 for that by the plus so w plus or omega you can put anything root 3 by 2 whole thing square this square plus plus u squared by 4 why right? this is u by two. this is 90 this is hypotenuse equals v square why we are using this the, we are cleverly we are going away from the making the quadratic equation solve so that's why we use this method right otherwise what we have to do so you can use anything cosine rule or anything and you can form the quadratic equation. You can write. It takes time. No problem. No problem. It takes time. But if you use this method, quickly you can find. How? Then take to this side and take the square. Then I go for the, you know, v squared minus u squared by 4. Then that or then and that is square of that. And then... 4v squared minus minus u squared over 4. Okay? And omega plus root 3 by 2. Square root of this. Then I put square root for this and take the root. You can understand what I am doing. Then what is omega? That is square root of 4v squared minus u squared minus root 3 u. Okay, divided by 2. But they ask, they ask, show that the speed of the boat in its motion from A to B. See, that's it. So you take in their style, you want to express in their style, 4V square minus U square square root and minus U3 U close to back. How nice this question? How nice? Is it hard? No. So you are here to follow the steps. What steps? The first step. Read the question. Convert to the mathematical notation. There. Yeah, we have done. Converted to the mathematical notation. From the mathematical notation, choose the type. Is it type 1 or type 2 or type 3 or type 4 or type 5? And this is coming under the type 2, which is 70% of questions in past paper question under the type 2. Right? So if it's type 2, you have to draw the circle. If it's type 2, you have to draw the circle. So where you have to start, always if you know the di direction, you can start. If you draw the di direction only, then you can start from that. So from that, 
can draw the circle. If you draw the circle, you can follow four steps. You know all the four steps. At the end of that, you will find the answer. So if answer is here. That's it. It's a systematic work. You don't need to think and do it. Is it clear? Right. So what they what else? And find its speed in the motion of from B to C now. This guy asked me about B to C. Now you found the omega here. So now he is asking about this length, ln1. So what is this? This is omega, that is ln2. But we found here they asked ln1. How to find ln1? Okay. We have to draw the perpendicular line from the center. So how to draw that one? How to draw that one? From here, yeah. Is it clear? Are you okay, man? Are you okay? Right? So, now, again, same thing you are repeating. If you draw the perpendicular, definitely you will see the angle with the length. Angle with the length. This is not a secret. Where can you see the angle here with the length? U. Then, U, this. This is this one is u cos root three by root three u by two. What about this? U sine the u by two. What about this? So these you are marking on this, but you have to write separately. L one you have everything you have to write and give. Okay. So now this class first you have to understand what is happening. That's why I am making like this. Right. Whatever you mark here, you have to write. For an example. If you mark this, you have to write half. Uh, say, say, n1, n4, this, this point n4, ln4 equals root 3 by root 3 u by 2. Like, o n4 is u by 2. Likewise, you have to give. So, now what about this? You have to find, you know, by the This is the by the here, this is the, this is u by 2, you can find this. So if you know this, you can add with this and you can give. Is it clear? Is it clear? So, in that case, in this case, Okay, I'm going for this one. So, shall I erase this one? Can I have this one uh, uh, later? Okay. Or shall I do it here? I erase this one. I don't need change this anymore. Now I write here. Okay. Say n4 n1 n4 n1 equals b squared minus u squared by 4 square root of 10. So, n, n1 equals root 3 u by 2, this one, plus this one. So, I can write b squared minus u squared by 4. And if you want, you can simplify this. 4 b squared minus u squared by 2. Right? Actually, root 3, so I can write like this. 4 b squared minus u square plus root 3 u into half. The same as previous uh, previous uh, answer but we have plus we had minus there now plus. Now what they are talking about? Now they are talking about hence see notice that hence show that the total time taken by the board for both work uh, for the path A B and B C enough no? because you know this velocity related to earth you know related to earth this is this length this is also a this is also a so a divided by omega 1 plus the same this a divided by omega 2 i put omega 2 right that's it you simplify and get it so now i erase this part because i don't need shall i because we reach the left part of this question. So total time, total time, total time equals a over omega over plus a over omega to omega o w. Then we are, we are going to substitute this and this, no? Yes, but thing and do. How? Just take the a out and simplify this. You will get omega 1 plus omega 2 over omega 1 omega 
Yes or no? Yes. Now, omega 1 plus omega 2 means adding this and this. Then definitely you know the minus root 3 plus root 3 will go. Then we are going to have half into this and half into the same. Then that one. Half, half plus something, half plus something, something. So what is something? 4v squared minus u squared only. Because plus root 3 u minus root 3 u gone. So half square root of 4v squared minus u squared plus half square root of 4v squared minus u squared. So if you add square root of 4v squared minus u squared. That's it. Now, uh, then if you want you can substitute in that case. But this is a plus b, a minus. So we will substitute for the uh, first uh, shake of simplification. Root 3 u. Again half into square root of 4v squared minus u squared, right, this is w1, right, uh, you can put the, anything is okay, is it clear, now I erase this part, I don't need this one, so total time, total time equals, equals a square root of 4v squared minus u squared over here 1, 1 over to 1 over to 1 4. That will go up. So 4 will be here. Then a my a minus b a plus b. So square root will go 4 square minus u square minus root 3 use all things square is 3 u square. Then you can have another 4 here. 4 v square minus 4 u square. You can take the 4 and cancel it. Then 4 v square minus u square over v square minus u square. End of that section. Is it? Yes. Any problem? Any problem?